Sunday. Shangun, the numbers have dropped off last eight games. Overall, it's astounding what Shangun is doing in year number three in the NBA. But the last eight scoring is down to about 17 points per game. Assist numbers are down and turnover numbers are up. And that kind of coincides with their struggles as a team, right? Yep. That like they tend to play their best when he is having a huge impact positively on the game. They are two and seven in their last nine games. A one nothing lead here for Houston. One free throw made. Shangun, Kitty, forced to kick it out, working around the perimeter for Dort. Ball fake. Dort fires off the rim. Kitty, the offensive board and a reload. Lined it up. Williams missed it. And the rebound corralled by Smith. Fred Van Vliet in year number eight in the NBA, putting up outstanding numbers, and he just put up a silky smooth jumper. Yeah, a great job with that early pick and roll, early in a shot clock. That's another thing this Rockets team, they're starting to increase the pace with which they play here as the season progresses. Giddy snaps in a jump shot. And the fans will sit after the made bucket by the hometown team. Which will make our job a little easier. <laughs> that fleet side rim on a three. We're cutting off our angles, but I get it. I get it. Giddy nicely done on the floater. And how about the aggressiveness here early from Josh Giddy? Giddy more of a reluctant shooter, I would say, but showing some aggression here early. Green had a block by Holmgren. He's averaging 2.6 per game. Holmgren showing off the handles. Picked up by Smith. Holmgren fades, connects. Yeah, and don't let the slight frame fool you. He is physical. You saw there, willing to initiate the contact to create the space for that little pull-up. 6-4 lead for the Thunder. Van Vliet trying to feed it. And no call. Shangun got locked up with Holmgren a steal. Jay Gilgis Alexander having an MVP type of season. Diagonal feed. Giddy not going to take the three. Instead drives in. And the flip is good. I tell you, you know how good this group has been. Imagine if his offensive mm -hmm. game continues to progress. And Smith could not finish it, but out of bounds the other way as Holmgren actually is going to get called for the foul. So the issue for Holmgren is that's a quick two. Yeah, and then you see Giddy here, nice pump fake, able to hit that little floater. I think they just called it yeah, out of bounds. They did. So that was the original call, perception-wise. Now something you don't often say, a hit check by Josh Giddy. Yeah. Van Vliet tried to end the 8-0 run. He could not, but Shangun does on the follow. Yeah, even though he doesn't score there, Van Vliet, that attack creates that offensive rebound opportunity. Giddy stripped of the ball and a blocking foul on Van Vliet. Van Vliet upset that he didn't get a call on the other end, felt he was hit on the head there. Yeah, a little bit of contact, but fortunately, Shangun running the floor to follow up the miss. Jump two free throws here for Giddy, who's shooting it at 83%. Six points already for Giddy, and tack on another. The NBA on TNT Tuesday is brought to you by the Kia EV9, electric like you've never seen. Kia is the official automotive partner of the NBA. One out of two for Giddy. And a 9-6 advantage for OKC. Houston got off to a terrific start when these two teams played on Sunday and then cooled off significantly second half. Shen Kuhn, YMCA <laughs> delivery. A uh, little, little set shot Buford action there. <laughs> Took him a little while to release it, but able to get it to go down. Williams feeds. It's all Giddy. Giddy up for Oklahoma City. They've done a great job of attacking Singles at the rim. Green, rainbow jumper doesn't go. It died on the rim. Rebounded by Holmgren. Holmgren picked up by Green. Back in, double Shangun, dump down, and it bounced off of Giddy. Turnover as Brooks gets it ahead. Green stripped to the ball. Break the other way for SGA. Dort lines it up. Too strong on a three. Flying in, Williams. And a reload for Gilgis Alexander. That's great effort. The 5 and 22 biggest surprises in the NBA at that point. Another set shot, Willie. Yeah, I, I tell you, he is so smooth. 
and patient offensively. Get into it quickly. Shanguna scored seven of Houston's ten points. Kitty drives in, floats it up off the top of the backboard. And here comes Houston. Green, the acceleration. Give it up. Smith denied, but a foul. Like that decision by Green uh, to attack. It's up from 12.8 to 13.4. Rebounding numbers up about a rebound and a half per game. Yeah, and I think he's improved tremendously defensively as well. And this is a team giving up from last season over five points a game yeah. less. So they've made tremendous strides on that side of the ball. And I think he's been one of the primary beneficiaries of that, having guys like Dylan Brooks and, and Van Vliet in that lineup as well. Jabari Smith can apparently handle thunder after dark and did not get stuck in his mind like it may have gotten stuck in mine. 12-11 Houston. Here's Holmgren on a handoff for Williams, trying to get involved here offensively. Tremendous season he's put together. Williams, the off-balance delivery goes down. 7-2 wingspan. It is tough to block that man's shot, even though he's listed at 6-5. Green denied! Holmgren there to suffocate him. Here's Dort. And that's blocked by Shangoon. Return to sender. Gildas Alexander rims out. How about the rim protection here early on? Both teams were really from OKC. Thunder 0 of 6 from three-point territory. They lead Houston by one. Van Vliet sets it up. Shangoon on a kick. Extra. Smith. Hot potato. A three. And that was a really good possession. One of the first times they got... Shea Gilders Alexander near the top of many people's MVP ladders. They asked Jalen Williams about it earlier today. He admitted they talked about it inside the locker room, but SGA has made it clear that... He wants to focus on winning games, not trophies. They won a bunch, and SGA has put up some trophy numbers. In fact, in a vacuum, SGA's numbers stack up, in fact, with Michael Jordan's numbers the first year back in 1988 that he won his first MVP. I asked Gordon Hayward what it's been like playing with him since he's arrived from Charlotte, and he said that he's been in awe of SGA. And GA, he says it's not all that different from his time in Boston playing with Kyrie Irving. He talked about the footwork, the poise, the lethal mid-range game. This guy's got a shot to be very special for a long time to come, and this year could be a most valuable player year. Hey, I think that's great stuff, Jared, and there's no doubt about it, and a lot of it is not just what he's done statistically. It's about empowering his teammates and the fact that they've been able to elevate to the very elite of our league. And you see Houston knocking down that triple. Well, that was much needed. But I, I think the FDA, if, if the vote were today, I think he'd have a great chance. Yeah. I mean, to be in the one seed right now, you know, they're tied with Minnesota, to be there with this group, I, I think is thoroughly impressive. And he is obviously the main catalyst that makes this ship go going to the free throw line when we talked to mark dagnall about sga the numbers speak for themselves jared asked mark would this felt so good about how they've approached this process of evaluating talent acquiring talent and developing talent uh, listen that, there's a lot of truth to what he says but that's coach talk as much attention nationally as some of the elite programs. And they're right on key, able to knock down that triple. So I don't think there's any question that this is going to bring more attention to what they're doing. And if that's a byproduct of it, more power to them. Changes for both teams. Amen Thompson, talented rookie, is in. Green tried to bank it, couldn't grab it. Oklahoma City has the other Jalen Williams in along with Kenrich Williams and Isaiah Joe. Jay Gilgis Alexander, one on one with Van Vliet. Needs some help. Here's Williams, corner pop. Doesn't go. Rebounded by Thompson. That was Kenrich Williams, sixth year pro out of TCU. The jumper, Brooks, bangs in a triple. That's a big time shot by Dylan Brooks, who's having a really solid bounce back here here for the Rockets really kind of the tone setter for them defensively 
Hard drive, the pull up. It dances and goes through for SGA. Yeah, really good defense there, but just SGA a little too good from an offensive standpoint. Thompson passes out of the post. Shangun, couple of fakes, couldn't finish, but he's fouled by Jalen Williams. A, a, a big difference not having Holmgren out there to kind of man that rim. And Sengun taking advantage. 22-21, Oklahoma City in front of Houston. Make every three-pointer, steal, and assist mean more with FanDuel, America's number one sportsbook. Download the FanDuel Sportsbook app today. When we talked to Ime Yudoka about Shangun, he said what he has seen in recent weeks it's what he's going to have to get used to for his career, which is a variety of defensive schemes where teams are now scheming against him, and sometimes only him because he's first on the scouting report. Yeah, that, and that's where the chess match begins, right? You've got to be able to see things a couple steps ahead, understanding where double teams are going to come from, how your team is going to space it, where you can attack and create those opportunities, and it, it'll be an adjustment for him.